Hey guys, and welcome to a game called Scrap Mechanic! Woohoo! I don't know why I say woohoo after every intro I do. But, um, hang on a second. This audio is a little bit loud. Let's just turn this down. Okay. Alright, so, this game title is kind of self-explanatory. It's very, um, scrappy and mechanic-y. It's actually really funny, though, despite its silly name. So, um, you really gotta see this game. It's really awesome. So I'm gonna start a new game. Creative mode. They haven't added a survival mode yet. So, creative and survival. Kind of like Minecraft. But anyway, world name. Uh, let's just say little brown hashes. Uh, scrappiness, I, I guess. And, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and create it. Did you know that if you put two toilet paper rolls on top of each other, it will become a paper towel roll? I did not know that. Actually, maybe I did, because that's the only pop-up. Okay. Hi, Mechanic! Welcome to Scrap Mechanic Creative Mode! Woohoo! This is a great place to express your creativity and build the most amazing creations! Engineer, architect, both. Everything you need is already conveniently stacked in your inventory. Got it. So, great way to start the mechanics handbook and blah, 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 that I don't really care. Oh, look, it's a cornfield. We're in a cornfield. That's cool. So, anyway, this game is really awesome. It's got beautiful graphics that my computer can't handle most of, so I had to turn a lot of them off. But, uh, it's still beautiful. And, um, so, yeah, this game is so freaking awesome. I gotta show you some of the basic game elements, and I can't get up this mountain. I mean, Check, take a look at that mountain. It's just awesome. So anyway, I'll be showing you some of the, the, the basics, just so we don't have to read the mechanic handbook. I get, yeah, basically just how to play, navigation, movement, um, there's, yeah, movement, blah, 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 and how to build a vehicle, blah, 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 yeah, it's all good, it's all good, which you can find out from watching my video, or someone else's video, because they usually give an intro. But anyway, let's get started right away. So, if you've seen any other Scrap Mechanic videos, you've probably seen that they, um, build something like an off-road vehicle or something silly like that. I'll just show you the basics and, um, build an extremely simple vehicle. So let's just do this, and this here is the lift down here. So you can go up and down. It's really cool. And uh, I did not mean to put that there. So let's do that. And then this. And then let's go out some more here. Actually, let's cut that off. Ch chop it off like that. Alright. And this. Okay. So. And then you'll want to put it on a driver's seat if it's going to be a proper vehicle. So I need to make room for the engine as well. Um, and you use Q to change the direction of something. So I got this block. I can change the direction of this. And it's really cool. So let's just get rid of that. And then we need... So, we'll need bearings for the wheels. Because if you put a wheel on... Let me show you. Eh. You put a wheel on, and it doesn't have a way to turn. The wheels won't move at all. You can move it around all you want, and the wheels won't move. So the wheels need bearings. So let's put this creation back on the lift, and here's our bearings, and we'll get to the wheels in a minute. Put the wheel on there, and there, and here, and here. Alright, so now what we want to do is make an engine for the wheels, because otherwise they won't be able to turn. So the, the engine, you can set the level and how powerful it is. I'm going to keep it off for now, for a good reason. So let's connect all of the wheels to this engine. Alright? And make sure they're going in the right direction. See how this... You can go backwards and forwards. So I want these ones to go forwards. For sure. Alright. And... Okay. So now what I want to do... Before... I, um... Take the engine... See? You need to connect the engine to the driver's seat. If you don't... Then... It'll just... Yeah, do that. Come, come back. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Okay, just shut it off, I guess. Stay back here. Okay. So we need to connect this to that. And then let's hop in. Here we go! It's kind of slow. Let's take the engine up a little. But these engines are so super powerful. Like, 
You don't want to mess with them. Woohoo! Here we go! It's kind of bumpy. But, um... You can usually fix bumpiness with suspension. Whoa! Topple! Topple! So yeah, this is scrap mechanic, people! <laughs> Enjoy it! It's it's funny. No, really, you guys will actually like this game a lot more than you might think. Okay, so... And we've also got our hammer, in case this thing topples over. Like... This. Let's see if I can get it to topple. Come on. <sighs> okay, whatever. Can we just topple? <laughs> it just turned around. <laughs> Come on! There we go. Toppled over. Oh no! Without having to put a lift, I can just whack it. There we go. So that's what the hammer does. This is some giant corn. Jeez. So let's drive through the cornfield, check up on our corn, and topple again. Alright, let's put this thing back on the lift. So you can literally just pick it up and carry it around with the lift. So, another thing you might be wondering, how are you supposed to steer this thing? Because you get in, and you turn the wheel, and nothing happens. Well, you need bearings. Yes, bearings are a big part of this game. So, we'll erase our wheel and our bearing, and erase that again. Let's actually put it on the lift. Okay, here we go. So we need to take this, and we'll lift it up, and then we need a bearing, actually we need to go out one, bearing here, and you're probably getting the idea of this. Come on, alright, come down, okay, lift it back up, okay, and now we put the block on top of the bearing, and another bearing on this block, and then the wheel. Right here, and here. There we go. So let's break this. It's kind of uneven, if you can see. But um, let's go ahead and connect these bearings to the driver's seat. Because if we connect them to the engine, it'll just spin them around and stuff. So we want these bearings to be connected to the driver's seat. And connect these wheels back to the engine. Alright, here we go. So now we can turn. It's the wrong direction, so let me change the directions. There we go. Now we can turn our little vehicle. I think I must have missed something here. Yeah, this is the wrong direction. Alright, here we go. Now we can turn. Um, I might have to slow down the engine so we can actually get some good traction. And also, building out of different... Uh, see, this one's built out of wood. If you build out of different blocks, like the concrete block, or the metal block, or the barriers, or the tiles, or the, uh, the brick blocks, they, um, the weight is different. Because wood is like one of the lightest. So, let's pull through our cornfield and try to pull out of it. Come on. I really hope in a future update they'll allow us to farm um, the crops and stuff with uh, with our uh, vehicles. That would be pretty awesome. Alright, so you didn't come watch this video just so I can make a little go-kart. So, let's actually show you what this thing, this game is really capable of. I'm going to do this. I'm going to build out. Uh, let's go. Let's go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. That should be ten. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's right. Let's build another round. And I think I want it to be five wide. So, five wide it is. And I'm building out of metal, just so you know, so because this is going to be, is going to need to be lower to the ground and heavier. All right, so let's build out three and three. Uh, let's erase that because I didn't mean to put that there. Let's go up three, up three, across three, and across three more. All right. So let's put in a driver's seat at right, right there. It's kind of wonky because it's uh, five wide, but I need it to be five wide. So let's put a um, put an engine heat in. I just got rid of the uh, driver's seat. Didn't mean to do that. Put the engine there. Let's put the driver's seat there. All right. I think that uh, engine might be too low to the ground, but that's fine. We don't care. So what I want to do is put bearings here, and you might be able to tell what I'm doing. Let's put this there and this there. And then I want some suspension. Sports suspension. There and there. And now what I'm going to want 
Um, I need a pipe corner. Which one? I think that's the one I'm looking for. Pipe corner, right there. Yeah. Uh, I'll get to this in a minute. But uh, let's just build this one first. So I'm going to want some bigger suspension because I don't need the steering mechanism on the back. So let's do that and that. Um, so what I could do is I can take these blocks and put them, put bearings on them, and then put the wheel in the middle. Oh, wait. Oh, I've made this too wide. Whoopsies! And put the wheel in the middle. But anyway, um, that's wrong, but you can see that um, if I were to put this here, it's not actually connected because there's no bearing, and I can't put a bearing there because the wheel... I mean, it's wrong, but you can kind of get the idea. Let me actually just erase this whole half here. Okay, so let's do this. I'll show you what I'm thinking. All right, so I can't put a wheel there. Actually, I can. But it's since I put the wheel on one bearing, only one is connected. See how it's drooping like that? So what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to lift it up higher for one. All right, and let's get rid of the wheel and these blocks. Let's put a pipe corner here. This should work. All right. So I think that'll hold. Uh, let's see. Yes, the pipe corner holds. But I don't know. I don't think it'll turn. So I need a bearing. Let's see if I can put a bearing on the pipe corner. Not what I meant to do. There we go. I got a bearing on the pipe corner. Okay, there we go. So now we've got our pipe corner. And this one has steering, so let's lift it up, and then put our pipe corner on. Okay, there we go. Put our bearing on the pipe corner, and put the wheel in the wrong place, for sure. Okay, so let's get rid of our, come on, get rid of our lift. Yes, beautiful suspension. Okay, uh, I want this to look a little bit better, so let's put that there. Oh, whoopsies. Uh, okay. Uh, let's fix that. It, get rid of it. Get, get rid of it. Get, get out of here. Okay, so let's get um, suspension right there and put that on. Oh, wait, that's wrong. Nope. Uh, oh, man, I gotta do the whole steering mechanism again. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. Put the wheel there and break the lift. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, so now let's connect the engine to the wheels and as you can see I'm trying to make a bat bike from the dark night rises or from the dark night or whatever yep that's right it's not gonna look anything like a bat bike but can, can I get up there please okay there we go all right so now let's connect the engine to the steering and let's make this thing a little bit um, safer a little bit more enclosed uh, like that, and then uh, excuse me. Okay, let's just walk around. All right, there we go. So let's hop in this thing and see if it drives. It doesn't drive because the engine is set to the lowest setting. <laughs> All right, here we go. It's also slow, but seriously, come on. No, that's not what I meant to. Nope, 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 nope. No, 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 and uh, work on it some more until we've perfected it. Okay, so here is my final creation. I'm actually not done yet, but um, it's cool to show you now. See, look here. Um, so the the pipes didn't actually hold up like uh, I thought they would. They were like the blocks, and one side holds and one side doesn't. Um, but uh. I actually found out that two wheels can work fine like this. I just need to make sure they can turn right. So let's connect these 
and change the direction. I think it'll be a little bit of a friction turning because the wheels are stuck together. But uh, let's make sure these are the right rotation and connect them to the engine. Here we go, like this, and then the engine to the driver's seat. So let's make sure this is the right rotation. All right, there we go. Here we go. I need to take the engine speed up. <laughs> Come on. Let's go. Wow, turn in. Woo! Sharp turn. Oh, look at that. <laughs> Whoa. Jeez. That's crazy. Okay, um, well, let's try to, let's just go backwards and start over. Yeah. Oh, look at that pit. Let's see how off-road this thing really is. Yahoo! Yeah! Yeehaw! Woohoo! <laughs> this is awesome. Well, it was awesome. Oh, look at that. This thing can really... Whoa! This thing can really turn. Jeez! Woohoo! Let's head up the mountain. Wow. It doesn't turn that well, but it's very stable. <laughs> I love this. I love this bat bike. I... I... Come on. You can do it. Urgh. Turn. <laughs> no, 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 no. There we go. Come on. Come on. No. Don't do this to me. No. All right. Come on. Err, let's go. Woo. I'm doing a stoppy. Err. A backwards papa wheelie. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm kind of stuck. Uh, there we go! Woohoo! So, that's about uh, the end of this episode here. There will be a new episode of Scrap Mechanic Online sometime soon. So, that should be awesome. Let's try to get this thing back up. Alright, there we go. So, thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next Scrap Mechanic episode, or Minecraft episode, or whatever. Sharp